Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we began building out an extension to the passenger rail network to complete a you know the the final segment of the crater loop that um, I kind of wanted to do so that we can switch the 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 current loop lines from different individual segments into a continuous both counterclockwise and then clockwise um, loops. It'll hopefully make sense once we actually see it. So we we're working on that. We were able to get the like 40 million dollar bridge built. So that is good. We're going to continue working on that. But as you can see, here at this uh, station, I have gone ahead and done upgrades to our buses and trams so that they're using the latest and greatest buses and trams that we have. So we're getting rid of these old, tired, worn out trams, replacing them with these brand new, shiny trams. We got our new buses. These are, what are these things? These are MAN SL192s. And these guys are BE46 Mirages. So yeah. These really old, these really old guys are going to get swapped out. Every single bus and tram line in the entire map has been scheduled for upgrades. So once everybody reaches a stop, they will go ahead and swap out. So that is all taken care of. And for trains, we'll be replacing and upgrading those as they reach the end of their lifespans. Alright, so this is the extension segment uh, over here that we were building. And here's that big old bridge. And there is where we stopped. All right, so we need to complete this line so that we connect up into that station. We're probably gonna have to tear out these roads. No big deal. And then uh, work on making the adjustments of the trains. Well, we're gonna have to electrify all this track and the stations. So that's gonna be a bit of a bit of a job. So let's go ahead and get right back to it. No, I'd rather not do a tunnel here, if at all we can avoid it. And it does it look like it, not without doing a, a curve that is going to prevent us. I don't know, wait, maybe. It's a pretty severe cut right there. Like to remove this embankment if we can manage it. Keeping that cut there might be interesting, but this embankment on this side I'd like to get rid of just so that you have good views from the trains, unobstructed of the uh, of the water there.
And we are getting a bit of a uh, roller coaster effect there. We are coming downhill a little bit. So there's the station. So we definitely want to be kind of coming out here ish. It's a pretty good cut right there. Maybe smooth it just a tad. So, these roads, we're going to get rid of this stuff, get rid of that stuff, get rid of that, gone, there we go, just going to pause it so that it doesn't build in before we have a chance to get everything taken care of here, alright, so you are going to come through and connect into there, like that, and then you are going to come in and connect into there, like that. All right. So what we need to do is we need to get in here. And electrify the stations and then we need to electrify the track. Depot we're going to be using. But we'll need to electrify you, electrify this station. Make sure that we don't miss any pieces here. Because that will be seriously annoying when we get to the point where we're going to actually put trains on here and then it's saying, can't find path electric. And I uh, have to go through this whole thing again and look for the, the piece that's missing. Alright, so we just need to be careful. This is going to get electrified. Here is Olda, I believe.
Oh, that's not necessarily going to be electrified, at least not yet, anyway. But uh, we'll electrify the the route coming in, at least. All right, apply. there. Alright. And another station here for high charity. You're getting electrification. There we go. See? See? There? There? That's... Make sure there's not a problem there. That would have been very easily missed right there. Hope I didn't miss that anywhere else. How we're going to do this is we're going to create the new lines, we're going to put the trains on the new lines, and then we're going to decommission the trains from the old lines, and hopefully that will... Oh, yeah, the passenger line actually takes a turn here, heads over this bridge, and then comes in there. Okay, good. Alright, so. Let's create the new lines. So we go line manager. This is going to be a crater loop. Um, I guess we will say TP, train passenger. Um, crater loop. Um, clockwise. Yes. Crater loop clockwise. And that will start here. Go to here. To here. I don't know if this is going to work, but, um... We'll give it a shot. And then 
Hi, Charity. And then back to Rand Grease. Right. Okay, good. All right, we're going to make another new line, and this is going to be TP. Uh, crater loop. Uh, counter clockwise. Uh, actually, I think that's actually one word, right? Counterclockwise. Well, it is now. Okay, so we're going to start with Rand Grease, and we're going to go the other way. Make sure it's using the right thing. Yep, there we go. And we're gonna get the trains on the new on the new lines first before decommissioning the trains on the old lines. And it should be fine. Oh, well, those are those are wrong, wrong. Uh, you should be on two, and you should be on one. There you go. And this is hopefully where the train's really going to be able to get up to speed. Alright, and then Pallet Town. And then that should go back to... Rand Grease, there. Perfect. And... We are going to use the We're gonna use these guys, these train depots. All right, so let's see what we've got. And we want to use the fastest things we can get. Now, right now, the fastest locomotives, as far as uh, that I we get right here, this guy's 200 kilometers an hour. So that's not bad. 8,000 horsepower. That's pretty good if we want to go with a standard locomotive. But, let's see what we have for look for multiple units, because we have unlocked some new multiple units. And... We have the Pioneer Zephyr, which is 177, so... Eh. Uh, we have... Wind Express, no. We have... YT-175s. Only carry 33 passengers. 40 passengers. 47 passengers. But they only do 160 kilometers an hour. We have the Shinkansen. They do 210 and hold 100 and 390 passengers. 16,000 horsepower. That's not bad. Um, 16 car sets. Do we know how long it is? See, this is a six car set. We don't want one, one that's over 200 meters long. Um, maybe we go with the six car sets. That's 140 passengers. 
190 passengers. And just see. Alright, and we have these VT-175s again. Not fast enough. And these guys, again, not near fast enough. So, I think our Shinkansen is what we're going to go with. Let's buy, like, um, so let's get two of them. They are 150 meters long. You know, I can afford to do this? 200 meters long. You know what? That's perfect. So let's actually sell those 150 meter trains and let's get the 200 meter ones, because that's ideal. And let's set them. Train passenger, crater loop, counterclockwise. Actually, I'm going to set them both there. Just remember, it's the eight car set that I want. Alright, there it is. Alright, and in the other way, we're going to do the same. Buy two of them. Set the line to train passenger, crater loop. Oh, I misnamed this a little bit. Train 5 has reached his lifetime and should be replaced. Alright, let's go ahead and head over there. Midgar Ori Sandoria. This is one of our oldest lines. Currently has 100 passenger capacity. It is not electrified, so let's see what we can throw in there. We want locomotives. Do I have like a good diesel? It looks like it would be good for passengers. Mm, nah. Maybe steam. Maybe we stick with steam. Current vehicle on there is a Great Western. So maybe we stick with the British train. The British locomotive. Uh, we have... Let's see, what was this? Great Western 460-4073. That's these guys. 161 kilometers an hour. to 2300 horsepower. This guy's 144. Eleanor Peppercorn A1. The London and Northern Northeastern Railway. That's also a British train. Top speed is 1 kilometer per hour lower, but who cares? A little bit better horsepower. So we'll go ahead with you. Burlington Northern Coach. Do we have any good British rail? Sorry, 
So if we want 100 capacity, we want four of these. One, two, three, four. Let's throw a fifth on there. Replace it. 40 million. Uh, that didn't uh, actually replace. It was too late. But that other train should be coming in. All right, let's go ahead and just watch it replace here real quick. There we are, shiny new train. You know, and there's no reason we can't stick with steam. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Ah, sorry about that. I got really gurgly there. Okay. Our Shinkansen are still going. Is that the second one? There's one there. Now these obviously aren't going to really get up to speed. Because those other tracks on the line are... Ooh, train 15 and train 3 need to be replaced. Okay. Amtrak, Amfleet phase one. Train three and train 15. He's using those same Great Westerns. So what I'll probably do is just replace these with those very same. Trains we did before, what's the capacity on these? 80. All right. Oh, we got an auto save. We're gonna use these very same. So they were 80. What? So that's like one, two, three. We'll just put. We'll put five of them on there. Go ahead and replace. 29.7 million. And it was what? Train 15? There was also. At its uh, lifespan. I think it said. Dev, it looks like... Okay, so this is the Sandoria Gradania line. Uh, 100 passenger capacity. These are the LN... ERW1 Hush Hushes. So, I think we're gonna just keep on replacing these with those very same... Steam passenger trains right here.
Current has 100 capacity. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll add a fifth. And replace them. There you go. 30 mil. Alright, but I think we're at the end of the episode. So, what I might do on my own, if I remember to do it, or if I decide that I want to do it, is go ahead and continue to fill in those trains on the crater loops, and then get rid of the uh, the trains on the old passenger lines, and then hopefully that those high speed, multiple units, will uh, space themselves out. Alright, so we'll go ahead, we'll end the episode here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.